Hello and good morning. Today is the full moon in Scorpio and it is an intense deep water sign known for deeply experiencing everything, intense feelings, intense interactions, but the goal and the energy and the vibe is being real. And the longer you live, the more you cherish the friends that are real, the situations in which you feel safe to be real. These could possibly be the themes for you. I've got a tarot card and a mini horoscope for all 12 signs. Are you ready? I'm Erin. I'm Queen Bee Tarot. You can find full-length horoscopes on my YouTube channel. But right here, right now, let's pull a card. If you are an Aries or an Aries rising, this Scorpio full moon is going to bring themes of deep and profound experiences. You might be contemplating your karma, your patterns, or even themes of life, death, and rebirth. But the opportunity made available for you is empowerment, channeling your fire, being your fire, not squashing it or running away from it, but using it to your advantage and elevating your experience. If you are a Taurus or a Taurus rising, this full moon in Scorpio is bringing themes of relationships, trust, balance, and connection. Shallow connections are just not doing it for you anymore. The ones that really matter are the ones in which you can bear your soul. But there's such an importance of deep levels of trust, you might be questioning and wondering. So make sure to pay attention when people show you who they are. If you are a Gemini or a Gemini rising, you're experiencing <clears throat> themes of health, daily routines, but also maybe exhaustion or a heavy heart. The full moon in Scorpio is associated here with the Four of Cups. Maybe you're seeking balance. Maybe you're wondering what's missing. But just remember, if you keep doing the same thing, you can't expect different results. So find what feels right in your heart. <clears throat> if you are a Cancer or a Cancer rising, your card is the Two of Wands. The full moon in Scorpio is bringing themes of imagination, perspective, but also joy. What lights you up? What makes you feel glad to be alive? Follow your spark. Even if you find yourself alone on your path for a little bit, eventually you'll find your match. Stay tuned in to your intuition and your imagination and don't ever dim that spark. If you are a Leo or a Leo rising, your card is the Seven of Pentacles. Patience, action versus reaction, seeing the cumulative results of your energy, your efforts, and your time. You might be contemplating how grounded you feel, and amidst big emotions, you might be needing to retreat or collect your thoughts. If you are a Virgo or a Virgo rising, your card is the Three of Cups. You're thinking about your connections, your people, where it is safe to share your heart, who is going to howl at the moon with you, who are your favorite people, <clears throat> where and when does your heart sing. It's all about feeling safe with others, but also creating safe space yourself. If you are a Libra or a Libra rising, <clears throat> your card is the Six of Pentacles. You might be thinking about giving and receiving, you might be thinking about your finances, your space, big changes, or even themes of values and resources. Stay tuned in to your manifestations, but also pay attention to where and when what is offered is all that is going to be available. Don't get too greedy and remember to always say thank you. Scorpio, if, <laughs> if you are a Scorpio or a Scorpio rising, the full moon in your sign is bringing a sense of just like the phoenix, complete and total rebirth. Yours is like an etch-a-sketch that has been shaken clean. You have the opportunity to release, return, to die, to be born again, to grow, to purify. It's all about being the most authentic version of yourself. So don't be afraid to let the outside layers peel away as you find your truth. If you are a Sagittarius or a Sagittarius rising, your card is the hanged man. It's all about surrender and looking at things from a different perspective. It, in the situations in which you feel stuck, it's an opportunity to rethink. But right now you're tuning into your dreams, your ideals, maybe secrets and subconscious. You're experiencing themes of realizations and awakenings. Don't be afraid to open your eyes. It's not as bad as it seems. 
If you're a Capricorn or a Capricorn rising, maybe you're focused right now on your life's work, your ultimate goal. Maybe you're experiencing dreams realized or themes of meaningful moments. You're super, super tuned into your physical environment, but make sure to separate what you're able to manifest physically and your ultimate soul's worth. It is not measurable in gold. If you are an Aquarius or an Aquarius rising, you're thinking about your unique path. What makes you special? What makes you feel glad to be alive? And even if you end up walking alone a little bit, there is always magic by your side. Be the magic, live the magic, walk your own highest path and dance to the beat of your own song. And if you're a Pisces or a Pisces rising, your card is the Ace of Swords. This full moon in Scorpio is all about your beliefs, but also new ideas, themes of growth, or even sudden realizations. Imagination is power and so is belief, but also with great power comes great responsibility. So be careful what you think and what you say and what you believe. Be willing to question everything. Sending you guys all of my love. I hope you have an amazing full moon. Tune back in every day for your daily tarot and astrology, and I'll see you next time.